What's up? This is HD News here. So sorry not for not uploading for a while. I've been having to go in at late times. Start at 12, 8, 12 p.m. or so. And late at Walmart and wherever else. So we had a wedding to go to. The cellular service up there was bad. Up there by Yalton or wherever. You know, where, where it was. There are a lot of hills basically. And some got one of my older nieces and younger nieces got married to my mom and nieces, you know. Same year, same month. Just simply months instead of the first month of March, so. So you got married, wrapped in Illinois. I just remembered it. It takes a while for me to remember. So my phone was messing up. I could not upload nothing. It it was having trouble on YouTube alone. I'm most likely thinking it's a processor issue. That is a wise that it overheats itself and then heats up the rest of the, kick the, rest of the case that's in the aluminum phone itself. Internals get hotter around here, the bottom of it. And, and basically, I can't use YouTube. I can't use any kind of you know app or anything really. It was just this clock and looking at it. That's all I could do. It was just overheated severely. It was like hot. So I had to get a new phone eventually, unfortunately. I was trying to think. I upgraded the OS and all that, and I'm probably expecting that I'm going to last long, because, you know, Apple products are basically the same. If you get a new one, but you're not going to see much, see much of an improvement. But, you know, I expected this phone to last longer than it currently is. And right now, it's already down to 66% battery. And it was plugged in last night so um even the mac has trouble at times sometimes my memory gets bad and i can't spell correctly and that's why i don't like you know bringing text up on the screen and all that because when you have a learning disability like i got from a stroke when you were young it prevents you from doing certain things at certain times there's also something else that we apparently our generation does not know about it's with the brain and it's something that kind of limits the you know the verbal the verbal you know we can think and all that and it just severely limits it at times and there's no treatment available because this hasn't been discovered yet in our current age of medical science and different things like that so that's what I'm dealing with since I was young and you know it's on the path I'm here I got a job ready to go. Might have it for the rest of my life, who knows. For right now, we don't know what it is, and we are trying to get to a doctor that would fix it in high school, and you know, find out what it was. They couldn't complete the therapy for the learning disability and autism. We thought, we thought we had, they thought, when I was younger, I had Osbergers. He thought the completely the opposite when he looked at me, you know, studied me, you know, did tests and all that, of course, math and different things, you know, he changed the medicine, lowered it over time, did adjustments, added medicine, you know, to help, and I'm here, it's like, you know, I'm, I'm older now, I don't have them anymore, it used to be in St. Louis, I had to drive like over two, my parents had to drive over two hours to get there, literally, so, it was, I think it was like Dr. Simons, Paul Simons, uh, Forest Park uh, Road, I think, somewhere around there. You can look him up. But he takes care of pretty good people. I, I still probably still doing it, probably, I'm sure. But I think it was too extensive for him. I think it was like $1,000 a month or whatever it was, or 1000 a year or something like that. I don't know what it was, but it was a lot of money, but... I, times has changed since then, so we don't really know how much it costs now, but, you know, he t tests you and all that, making sure, looks at your, you know, photos and your family, and trying to kind of pick, because he has a similar issue as I got, and he's able to do more than I, I can do, basically, basically, to the point, you know, with study kids, you know, if they have any kind of issues, and mine, unfortunately, can be resolved, but the rest of them could be. Not much issues better, or you just make them more able to cope with your symptoms and do better. So, yeah. So, you can use channel, like, subscribe, comment below.
it's not you see you get your feedback suggestions you know if you have a kid with autism thing like that you know there's plenty of places in the United States but he was probably one of the best one I probably had if we didn't know our technology by now at our current age is not ready to discover that one issue even with the stroke at two or three years of age limit verbal IQ and this thing probably so probably leaves a couple things that you know causing these issues to arise and roll down but it really just kind of stays you know you're not gonna, I'm not gonna be always able to you know spell it's gonna be always having trouble that's the thing about me is I can throw some days I have worse days with that wherever it is I almost hear a phone call. I tell you, they call our house like crazy. I get a lot of those robocalls calls on the phone. And they're just nothing but wasted time you don't need to listen to. It. And it doesn't matter if they're gone. You know, everything. The call is data, email, messages. But they're annoying and. You know, when I get the house, I get into the house in the next, less than eight weeks probably, by November I'll be in there. I'm probably not going to leave my phone number on, you know, the only thing I'll like is, you know, they'll call you constantly, trust me. Tell lockers wanting to sell things, you shouldn't ever listen to them. Just hang it up. Don't deal with them. I never deal with them. Every time I get one of my phone, I think I'm going to silence it, push one button, boom, it's done. They can't answer, and I try to do call blockers, but you know, it's not always effective at times. They get better. Currently, right now, they're pretty good at answering these methods of security. But you know, we need a, the cell phone providers need to provide better protection than they're currently doing. Because I know, because I get a bunch of them if I don't have blockers. Sometimes I won't get none in one day. I'm going to get like five or three of them a day. Four or five during work, it's like I can't answer. Keep it in my pocket until I get to a break or something like that. You know, watch a break basically. Wait up my answer to the phone and see who it is. And so I search number every time. It's like, yeah, it's a sign of fraud, scams. So, yeah, thanks for watching.